Hi, I'm Alice Baelish. Do you come here often? I'll tell you one thing. By the time you're done watching this video, you'll be coming here a hell of a lot more. Because we've got some really awesome things to show. Check this out. This is the Rocket Kone XP Air. We unboxed this thing literally yesterday, but I got the video out to you today. Uh, well, actually, I, hopefully, by the time I post this video, it will be yesterday. I could be wrong. Anyway, let's not talk about time. It's a very, it's a construed thing. Anyway, so here we have the Rocket Kone XP Air, right? You got a button here, a button here, four buttons here, and then your Easy Shift, which will allow all four of these buttons, all two of these buttons, and your even your mouse clicks, your, your middle mouse scroll wheel clicks will also, and your regular mouse clicks can also be mapped to a second set of functions, bringing you to, I think, a grand total of 28. Don't quote me on that, but I think it's 28, okay? Now, this guy has a little cousin, right? Not necessarily a little brother, but a little cousin. Let's talk about him real quick. Now, this is the Rocket Kona Amo Remastered. We talked about this mouse in my previous video, I said I was gonna be doing an unboxing of it. I had to send it in for an RMA. And the reason why was the scroll wheel was acting up. And I had read reports of other people having this issue before. And so I guess I was just one of those lucky fellows. Um, and I did do a software reset, uh, reset on it and stuff. And that didn't seem to really help. So I needed to RMA it and I did. And um, this is what we got. We got the uh, Kone Amo Remastered today. And I figured when I got it the first time, I didn't do an unboxing or a review on this. So I'm actually going to go ahead and unbox it and review it in this video. As I've already used it extensively and I have some opinions on it. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this bad boy opened. But before we unbox it, here's Gandalf in the form of a Funko, given to me by a friend named Arya. Love it. We also got Alice at Hightower, the very first of uh, many Summer Convention Limited Edition um, uh, Funkos in the series of House of the Dragon Funkos. We also pre-ordered the um, entire House of the Dragon collection in November. We'll go ahead and post those and let you guys see those. We can do some reveals up close and personal. If you want to see those, let me know in the comment section down below. We've also got Bob Ross. Oh, no, that's not Bob Ross. That's Peter Baelish, the one and only. Number 29, signed by the actor himself, Aiden Gillen. Went ahead and bought him for, uh, I think, 45 bucks off the internet. Couldn't pass it up. And he also came with a nice little protective plastic box. Then we have Bob Ross, which is a, um, a Funko Popsy, is what they're called. And he says, you're a masterpiece. I love that. Beautiful. Prussian blue. And then you have, that's what she said, uh, Steve Carell, Michael Scott, right there in the flesh. All right? Love it. Cute little Popsy. And then... My wife told me to hide the Funyuns, so uh, <laughs> yeah, hide them all right. Well, I mean, they're on the lower section, so maybe she won't see them.
All right, guys. So there you have it. We have unboxed it. Uh, we've heard just some, we've heard some of the clicks and some of the clacks. And uh, let's see, what's my opinion on this mouse? Well, you don't get a whole lot in the box, obviously, right? There's not much to it. You get your user guide, you get your mouse, um, you get the little, uh, you know, hair, you can breathe, uh, gelatin, silica stuff. Um, I don't think that's what that's for. Dude, don't, don't consume or breathe in. Uh, silica is no joke, it's dangerous. Um, but I've used this mouse extensively, and I know how it performs in FPS, in RPG, in RTS. Uh, the mouse is very well-rounded, okay? It is. Uh, and as far as what it can do, it can do a lot. It's not very heavy, okay? It's not a very heavy mouse. Some people might consider it heavy, but you'd have to be... You have to have some weak wrists. I will say this much. The wireless XP Air lives up to that name. It is extremely light. And when I say extremely light, this mouse has hardly any weight to it. All right, I would say maybe a light to medium weight. That mouse over there, the XP Air, is very light. So if you like extremely light mice, uh, that'd be the way to go for you, the XP Air. Obviously, at a cost, $160, $165 mouse. It's not for everybody, okay? Those are the people that want to get going, and they, wanna, they, they want the top of the line. They don't want no compromises, uh, and that's what you get. This mouse here... Um, I'd have to check the price on it, but it's the Rocket Kone Amo Remastered. Prices may vary anyway if I tell you a price now. But uh, it's it's a solid mouse. It is. I like it. I enjoy it. And aside from that scroll wheel issue that I had, whether it was a software issue or whether it was a, uh, a hardware issue, I couldn't say. But all I know is I was very disappointed when the issue occurred because I was like, man, I love this mouse. And so I had to get my RMA. Uh, I haven't used the XP Air much, okay? Uh, I told you I had some radiator fan issues that have been going on for, uh, well, so here's the thing. We had the computer issue last video when we, were re when we were reviewing the XP Air. I got those all sorted. That had nothing to do with the mouse. I want to clarify that. Nothing to do with the mouse at all. That was something that was going on with my uh, radiator fans that I thought I'd remedied, but it came back to haunt me. Uh, we fixed it. It's good to go. All right. The Ryujin 2 360 millimeter cooler lives and it breathes and it's phenomenal. Uh, also another product I recommend. It can give you a little bit of a heartache when it comes to software. It's not the hardware's fault. It's Armory Crate. Sorry, Armory Crate. Not a big fan. <laughs> but anyway, from the XP Air, what I have used and what I have done with it in the little bit that I have, and I'm going to test it extensively more tonight. I'm actually going to game with it, play some League of Legends, maybe some shooters, maybe some Tarkov. Uh, just in the little bit that I've used it, I can say this. The clickiness and the tactile feel of that XP Air is phenomenal. Now, I'm not I'm not talking any crap to the Kona Amo Remastered because they're both really good. The clicks are tactile. The clicks are nice. The buttons are phenomenal. Easy Shift works great. Now, there is something I do want to touch on when we talk about Easy Shift. But before we do that, I do just want to say you're going to love the feel. Every click it, of that XP Air, every button is phenomenal, and I, I joke you not. Uh, when compared to the salted um, to the salted cashews, sing. We didn't come here to look at peanuts, but you did, and I'm going to tell you why. Same old boring sea salted cashews, right here, for twenty three dollars at Walmart. Honey roasted cashews, sea salted, honey roasted, sea salted, honey roasted. Beats it far, far away, far away. Not a different, it's a totally different category. <laughs> so here we're gonna look at this. I'm gonna make a comment on this easy shift functionality real quick. So when we get down in here, right, with the easy shift, here's your easy shift right here, right? Now, I do believe, don't quote me on this, but I do believe you can set your easy shift function on your mouse to anything you want, any button you want. So this could be your easy shift, right? If you made this your easy shift, you could then, so what easy shift does, if you're not familiar, you can go into the software, swarm software, rocket swarm software, okay? And you can set these buttons as you can any mouse mostly, and you can set your hotkeys and your macros, right? Now, let's say I want this to be my jump, I want this to be my prone.
I can go into the easy in, into my uh, swarm software and program a second button. These can have a second functionality. I want this one to reload and I want this one to uh, crouch, okay? So now when I hold the easy shift button, I would have to reach all the way over here to access that functionality. Now you might not have any issue with that. Like, okay, I'm playing the game, playing the game. Oh shit, I gotta, oh, I gotta reload, right? You could do it. It's not impossible. It's a little awkward. Yeah, it can be. It could be awkward, you know? Uh, it, a bit of a pain in the butt. Now, some people don't like that, but something people didn't like about it. Uh, but again, easy shift, middle mouse, easy shift left, easy shift right, easy shift top. Now, these are your DPI buttons by default up here. Okay, these are your DPI. This is your left scroll wheel, right scroll wheel. I can't even talk. Uh, but when you easy shift, you can, you can change these from DPI to anything you want, okay? Uh, so these are better suited for RPGs, and I see a lot of people talking about them being RPG mice, uh, you know, uh, Minecraft. Uh, these are apparently really good for drag clicking. I don't know anything about that, so I can't comment. Um, but I use it for FPS, so and I have no problem with that. But let's go, let's go take a little comparison look at something else here. We're going to talk about Easy Shift on the XP Air real quick. Now, Easy Shift with this mouse is a little different. All right, we're going to talk about why. This is your easy shift button by default here. And again, I'm pretty sure you can change that to anything you want on the mouse. But aside from, let's say you can't, right? Let's say you can't change the easy shift on the mouse to anything you want. What you can do is if you go over to our keyboard, if you have a Rock Hat keyboard, you can set your easy shift button on this keyboard. So right now by default, all I gotta do is go over here, hold this button, right? And then hit game mode. And now you'll see this little light has come on down here. Pardon my uncleanly keyboard. I've got to clean it. It's got this aluminum frame, right? And it's amazingly gorgeous, but it gets dirty really quick. Okay, so pardon that. Anyway, tab is your easy shift by default. Okay, so that's your easy shift. Uh, I'm pretty certain. Let me go into my key assignment. I'm about to show you the software right now. Okay, so everybody relax. Uh, oh, no, it's caps. Is it caps lock? No. Hold on, I'm going to tell you right now. Okay, easy shift is your caps lock by default. So uh, when you put game mode on, this is now your easy shift. Now, this is an interesting feature. Watch the color of the keyboard when I'm holding easy shift. You can't see it on screen because right now the key, the, the AMO technology, there it is, okay? So look at that, see how it turns light blue? That means your easy shift has been activated, boom. Okay, that's your easy shift activating, boom, boom. <laughs> Right? Uh, now, interesting, when you do that with the AMO technology, your mouse turns that color too. Okay? So there's so much functionality. You, you could just, you know, if you can imagine it, it can be done. That's, that's one thing I don't see a lot of people reviewing this product really talk about. But let's go up here real quick and take a look. Do it! All right? Just so here's do your, it! Key, this is my Vulcan. Don't let uh, your dreams be dreams. Uh, Vulcan. The heck is it called? The Rock Hat Vulcan Amo. Right, right there in front of my face. Yeah, the Rock and Vulcan Amo. Okay, 122. Now you can go into your Rock Hat functions. You can go to Easy Shift, and you can see when I hover over Easy Shift, it shows uh, that button light up. Right, the caps lock. But here's something else that other people don't talk about. Right, you can have an Easy Shift lock and unlock button. Okay, you can lock it in. You better lock it up. You better lock it up. No, you lock it up. You lock it up. Lock it up. In to easy shift. So when we talk about how, when we talk about how uncomfortable it was to on the other mouse to hold the easy shift and then reach your finger over here, you don't have to do that. You can set this to be locked, right? You can set this to be locked, or or even if you don't want to, you can set a key on your keyboard to lock. You better lock it up. No, you lock, lock that easy shift function in place. So I press my caps lock and instead of easy shift press and hold, it's locked. And now I can go over to my mouse and I can do whatever I want. I can make any one of these easy shift buttons. And now I don't have to worry about holding this button and getting a rheumatoid grip. You, you, just, you just do it, you know what I mean? Uh, and I realize that this video is being longer than uh, originally intended uh, and I'm kind of dragging it on, but it is important that this information is, is known because I don't see anyone mentioning the fact that you can lock easy shift, okay? Now, I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna show you to my mouse, the XP Air. I apologize for the shoddy camera work. I'm on a cell phone, all right? But it is an S22 Ultra, so eat me. 
Uh, but if we go down here, this is our number 14. Our number 14 is tied to our easy shift, all right? We're gonna click on that. We're gonna go down to Rocket Features. And what do you know? There it is. Easy shift lock and unlock all devices. Oh my God. Oh my God. You can do it. Yeah, so all those people saying, you know, I don't want to have to, I don't want to have to hold this button and reach. You don't have to do that. You just click it, and now you do whatever you want. Click it, lock it, and then boom, 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 and then click it again. You know, click it, boom, boom. Now, you might say that seems like a lot of work. Maybe it is. It is a lot of work. Pardon me. Maybe it is a lot of work, you yeah? know? Maybe it's a problem for some people. Maybe it's not. Maybe you enjoy it. Maybe you have no problem with doing that. Because really, it's one extra button. Anyway, just something to think about, guys. So, uh, Kony Remastered, I love it. I cannot recommend it enough. And I'll get back to you on the longevity of it with this scroll wheel. XP Air gets a big hands up. Thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for being here. Hope you have a great rest of your week. And uh, we'll see you next time on House Builders Gaming Reviews.